Hey guys, Curtis Alexander, I'm a pharmacist. In this video, let's talk about using beta-glucans to help lower cholesterol. Um, so first of all, beta-glucans are soluble fiber that we primarily are gonna find in things like oats and barley. Um, what they're doing, what we know is that they're gonna delay or in some cases prevent the absorption of cholesterol in your body they can bind to bile acids. And the other important thing that they can do is the cholesterol that your liver is making can go down um, when you take things like beta-glucans. Now, I want to point out, we're going to get to this in a second. Um, it's not a huge decrease that you're going to see, but we are seeing some decreases in a couple of the studies. So first of all, there's a couple of them that used more of an oat-based beta-glucan, taking 3 to 10 grams per day for 12 weeks, did see a decrease in LDL and total cholesterol, uh, just as low as only three grams a day. We also saw a decrease in LDL by four to 10 milligrams per deciliter, total cholesterol four to 12 milligrams per deciliter. So again, fairly modest, but it, it clearly is lowering cholesterol. A good question is, well, what about HDL? Does it have any effect on triglycerides? We don't see that in any of the studies or the information we have. So primarily going to be looking at LDL and total cholesterol. Now, um, they did do a study with more of a barley-based beta-glucan, found the same thing. It was a little higher dose, 7 grams per day. They did see an LDL drop, 4 to 10 milligrams per deciliter. Saw a total cholesterol drop, 5.6 milligrams per deciliter. They also saw a drop in apolipoprotein B, uh, which some people find important to know. Um, so that's important to know with the barley base. Now, should you be taking um, supplemental form of beta-glucan? And what we know is that based off the studies, there's two groups of people that it would probably be good for. Um, one of it, which is patients with diabetes. Uh, they seem to benefit a fair amount. Also patients with a higher LDL. So if you don't fall in these groups, supplementing may not be the ideal, the best thing. Um, not that it won't help, but again, we're, we're trying to go after sort of our big ticket items here, and those are the two groups. Now, another question that we need to talk about is what about just, you know, having oatmeal every day? Is that the same thing? And what we know is, yeah, it, it can be equivalent because we know that one and a half cups of cooked oatmeal is going to give you around three grams of beta-glucan. If you're going to do that, I would stay with the steel cut oats, um, try to stay as clean on the oats as possible just because of the blood sugar swings and also some of the glycosates and things that we have in our oats and barley. I'm going to include a link to a company I found that uh, doesn't use any Roundup glycosates on their products. So um, that's something I would look at. If you're going to supplement, yeah, three grams per day for 12 weeks is what I would start with see if that helps. Like I said, I think you will see a modest decrease. It's, it's not the be all and end all, but it is a good start. So let me know in the comments if you've tried beta-glucans and the results that you got. Um, I really appreciate it. And I know other people that watch the video do too. So I uh, hope this was helpful, you guys. I will see you in the next one. Thanks.